welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Season 4 with me, Full Symmetry. And today we have, we have post. We have post. We haven't got a post box, but we've got post. So I'm going to have to get a post box going. Might even have to build everyone a post box. That might be an idea for a live stream. Means I can go and explore everyone's bases. But yes, look. Free first edition of the Hermiton Herald, which is so, so awesome. I'm so, so looking forward to it. I did start reading it on, uh, on camera to, to begin the episode. But let's just say... Uh, creepers and zombies and all the bad things. And now, look at it. Look, look, guys. It's now daytime. So, I would have been fine. But hey, whatever. We're in it now. It's all good. It's awesome. Go check out Cleo's videos on that. I'm, I'm very excited for the whole thing to be up and running. And I will be buying a subscription from it. Because, uh, I'm pretty sure someone said it was one diamond or something. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure. Something about diamonds. I don't know. But anyway, today we're actually going to be working down here. I'm excited. I dug this out in a live stream, planning to put my horses in here. Because as you guys know, my horses are currently the other side of this big mountain that my base is on. They are down on the other side in a hole in the ground, along with the bunnies. And they need to be relocated because... That, that doesn't look very, very good, does it? I mean, they're comfy, you know, there's enough room for them to kind of jiggle about a bit. <laughs> but, uh, but other than that, they don't really look so happy. So we're actually going to be making them a proper pen, which I'm very, very excited about it. A couple of them probably will be sharing pens and things like that because uh, I'm not going to dig this thing out a whole bunch, but it is going to be dug out a whole bunch more than it is currently. We're going to dig it that way, and we're going to dig it that way. But I'm very, very excited about this because this is going to be a build that actually does go along with the theme of the mesa. I'm going to keep it orange and bring in a few bits of grey here and there. So kind of orange and grey, a little bit of green to give, bring it up to life and not make it too boring and to kind of make it mix in a little bit with this but we're not going to go crazy with all the crops and things like we usually do so don't you worry but I'm very, very excited but I have also challenged myself in using carpet in this design and I've decided it for dark grey but I don't have any sheep currently well I have a couple over there but not not enough so we're actually going to head over to the farm I'm going to breed them up, going to dye them, I'm going to shear them with no shears apparently I'm going to have to go fetch those and uh, hopefully we'll be okay and ready to roll. So let me go do that, grab a whole bunch of wool, and then we'll be good to start building this thing. So whilst I am over here at the Farmer Inn District, uh, I forgot completely that I had a vote in the description of a couple of videos in the past to vote for a green banner design. As you guys remember, some of you guys submitted for those, and they looked awesome. They looked seriously awesome. It was very, very difficult to go through them and pick four out, but that's what I did. Why are you out there? I don't no, but okay, let's go get to the sheep, they're over this side, okay, cool, I'm just gonna re-dye them all grey, because I can, but yes, so I've basically chosen out of two of those, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, at the end of this episode, create them in this game, right now, we're gonna create them in Hermit, on Hermitcraft, and we're gonna have one final vote of the last two that got the highest votes, because, you know, it looks good on the, uh, whoa, really are there like 32 sheep in here or more? I still didn't bring my shears over because I'm a numpty, but hey, we'll get that at some point. <laughs> I can't get out, I'm stuck. There we go, we're okay, we're okay. Rebid breeding is for the pros, we're fine, we're fine, there's enough in there. But uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do at the end of the episode, so make sure you stick around for that, and we're going to have a new straw poll in the description to vote for those two, because in the game, they look a lot different, and, and a little bit weirder, not, not as good as they, uh, not as crisp as they do, actually, on the websites that show the banner designs, but hey, let's get shearing these guys, let's get going with building this thing. And here we have a wild mumbo, looking for the ice spikes biome. When there is a sign there saying to the Mega Tiger, whereas if you look over to my right, there is a thing that says Ice Spikes Biome. That way. There we go. <laughs> he's missing boots. Oh, look at his little feet hanging out the bottom. There we go. Ice Spikes. Yeah. GG, Mumbo. GG. <laughs> that one. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Oh, God. That's for me laughing at Mumbo. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, no. There's a wall here. I'm sticking behind the wall. If I hide behind this, you won't see me. You can't see me behind the portal, can you? Aha! Aha! There we go. Well, uh... <laughs> I was just clearing out this room in here so that I can get some space. There's invisible blocks everywhere, which is a bit of a pain, so I have to keep relogging. But, if you looked in chat just then... <laughs> Mum was a little bit lost, I think, in the ice spikes. So... 
might have to head there for a little bit, actually, and help him out. So, yeah. Uh, might have to go do that now. I don't... I think I could just get the coordinates of the portal, but... Uh, I might as well actually take my silk touch over there and collect some myself. So that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to head over there, find the coordinates, ooh, and uh, be attacked by a baby zombie, which get the absolute life out of me. That's it, you go dogs. You got this. Don't fall off the cliff, okay? Oh, oh my god, dude, they, they're they like pro. My attack dogs are on point. Okay, so update, he's stuck in the nether apparently, so I'm just going to send him the coordinates I think of here, and hopefully that should be okay. Okay, so this is the way to the ice spikes. <laughs> I think if I run down here, maybe I'll bump into him. Who knows, who knows. As long as I've got some food, we should be good. Okay, so the portal's up there. Instead of going that way, I think he came down here. <laughs> so now he's obviously going to be in the nether. Mumbo, if you didn't... If you didn't... Oh god, he's actually just... He's actually just going to be... <laughs> I might need to give him my coordinates. Oh god, did he just start wandering around the nether? Oh no. Oh. Okay, made them more visible. And loads of magma creams have spawned. So now I'm going to actually go in... He's going up other stairs now. <laughs> He's going up other stairs now. <laughs> uh, okay, I have not seen him in the slightest. I have no idea where he is. I'm probably gonna die from these guys now because they're a bit, a bit jumpy. Ah, oh, okay, he didn't do too much damage. Okay, I think I'm okay then. I saw him run along there. There he is. <laughs> What's he doing? He's pushing them back, dude. I see that murder. <laughs> Trying to kill the pigman. The sheriff's watching, Mumbo. The sheriff's watching. Hello! Hello! <laughs> I'm gonna go up and meet him. I think he's somehow connected to something, surely. Surely. I don't know how, I, how that connects. Dude, you got yourself so lot. I don't even know where you're at. I don't even know where he's at. I don't think he's even connected to this area. No, it's not. Oh, God, Mumbo. How... <laughs> Uh, okay, some dangerous diggings going on, I'm trying to dig to him. <laughs> if, uh, if lava comes out, I'm going to be screwed. But, oh, oh, he's over, he's over here. But actually, I know, I know exactly how to get. It's along here, but that that has a way back as well. But I should probably tell him this way because this is the way back from the ice spikes. <laughs> oh man, that's, that's that. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, at least he's got his ice. So good. So enough faffing around in the nether, we have got to get on with this here. Now, I wasn't going to have a window here, but I might actually have to have one here now. So, as long as nothing uh, creepy crawly comes in through here, we should be okay. But I've started obviously working out this room a little bit. I am going to, however, have to make it, I think, one taller, and even two taller, or three taller in the middle as well. Because I am planning on making this room basically kind of arched a little bit, so I'm probably going to have to go around. Oh no, I've run out of my, my boost. It's just out of reach. Like, if I stand here for a little while, I pick it back up again, and I keep running back and doing some digging. It's, it's kind of a nightmare, but it's kind of great as well. Can't really complain that much. Uh, doing the edges and that will take a little while, but once I've got these edges cut out, should be pretty easy. Should only take a couple of, uh, two, two or three little boosts of that uh, to dig up the ceiling but yeah uh, we should be okay and if it make it tall enough I might even add like a little ceiling window a little kind of uh, basically instead of the glowstone there'll be like a little window along here like a long line or something I'm not quite sure yet but it should be pretty fun so I'm gonna get on with this we might even time lapse it so let's go ahead guys haven't done it for a little while let's roll that time lapse
Well, here we are. Here is the room so far. I'm a poet and I wasn't aware, apparently. But here we go. I think it's looking nice. I think it looks really nice, actually. You know what? I'm really, really happy with it. I think the ceiling might be a little bit too complicated. Hmm. And uh, I've been thinking a, bit, a little bit about kind of my building style and and things uh, recently, because uh, Scar brought it up in one of his episodes. Now, I'm not usually that caught up on episodes, but I was watching one of Scar's recently. I can't remember, he was building a car, a minecart thingy. Uh, that episode, I don't know what, which one it was. But, um, oh, I've actually missed some fences out here. I think I need to go and make some more. I think I've run out. But, uh, yeah, and he was talking a little bit about detail and how some people can use too much detail. And <laughs> I'm, like, listening to this going... You know what? I think I'm probably one of those people that does add too much detail. I'm not sure if the ceiling is. I originally was, didn't have these bits here where the wood is po poking out at every section, so I might... Oh no. Oh no, mistakes are made. I got rid of the, the string, which is which is a bit of a nightmare, but... Oh god, it's like, the thing's up there as well. Dang it, please. So basically, this is, this is what I've done, basically, guys. I've just put carpet on top of the string, which... I think that's okay. Yeah, that looks a lot more simple. It just kind of brings in that whole section. I've done it again. I've done it again, guys. I'm such a numpty. <laughs> numpty is the word of the day. If we had a word of the day, actually, that'd probably be the word of the day all day, all, all the time. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Just a little, little, little touch there. Just, I think, really changed it around. Let's see if we can do it correctly this time. I knew I already put wood there on this side. So yeah, that looks a little bit cleaner. A little, just a little bit cleaner. That's kind of all it needed. And I'm sure, like, lots of things. And I might even go around my base one day, or even in live stream, and just, just kind of look, but like, kind of look at it again, um, and kind of rethink it. I guess. I don't really know. I really like these end areas. I'm not sure, quite sure, quite sure what to do with them yet. But I like how there's light coming through here. I think that's just glowstone from from the uh, the roof. Um, all the error above it. But yeah, um, the only thing that is really poking out right now is this bit here. It's a bit too in your face, but we will we will be sorting that out. I think I might even quickly try something right here. I'm gonna have to make. I'm gonna have to keep these stripes in this this entrance area. If I don't keep them in the entrance area, it's gonna look a bit a bit higgledy piggledy. Is that even a saying? I haven't said that probably in a million years. But hey, uh, I'm a little bit worried about lighting on here as well. I might have to try and fit some in somewhere, but. That might look a little bit better. I really need to be able to fit my horses in there. That's the problem. I guess I can make it come forward a little bit more or something. I don't know, man. It's like it's gonna take a lot of tweaking to be happy. I think with this this, this surface area because it's kind of just very meant to be looking quite natural and stuff. But I'm pretty happy with this. The only thing I need to do now is actually make some more fences for the actual animals. So the idea is it comes along here and it comes along here as well. Uh, the gates will be three here. I'm actually missing one fence, dude. I could have put a horse in here, but I can't because I'm missing literally just one fence. I did try this in um, Creative with Acacia, and I put a uh, grey carpet on it, but oh, dude, it didn't. It didn't look good. It didn't look good at all. So we're going to be adding three gates to the front of all of these, just instead of two. Just makes it a bit easier to get in and out uh, with the horse, but um. Yeah, I think it's going to look pretty awesome. So I'm going to bring you guys back when I've done that. I might actually leave the ends of the room for you guys to come up with some cool ideas. And maybe that little area in there. Thinking it could be cool to have, like, even a through route. Like, I could actually just dig this to somewhere. I'm going to have to look what's through there right now. I don't know. But if anyone did want to build in that area, they could just easily just take it out. And I can change this room to something else. But I thought even just temporarily, it's big enough for a horse. And it could be a nice little route from uh, wherever it can get it from to here. I don't know, could be kind of cool and I could build like another little area like this to get into the other side of it. Kind of like what Joe's doing with the caves, he's got little three roots. Yeah, could be kind of cool. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna look at that as well uh, in my spectator to see if it's all free. And that might be a cool little idea. Okay, guys, so now it's time for the banner votes. We have a one, two, three, and four. They'll be down below. Last time, the links to the banners weren't working, so you guys could see. So I thought I would build them in Minecraft. I can't build them on Hermitcraft my, uh, just yet. That's why I'm in my creative single-player world, because these two here use golden apples, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, I'm sure we can get those specifically for the banners at some point, so it's not a problem. But number one and four are quite generic. 
Number two and three are a lot more, you know, symbolic of the area. So the idea was that the green banners were meant to be representing the industrial farming area. Uh, so yeah, these two are quite industrial. They're meant to kind of look like, I guess, buildings with smoke coming out, etc, etc. This one, I feel like maybe stands out a bit more than this one. I'm not quite sure, though. It's all up to you guys. So the straw poll will be down in the description. This is number one, this is number two, this is number three, and that is number four. So vote uh, as you wish. Do not vote in the comments below, vote in the straw poll, and next episode, or in a future episode, we will go around the green district plastering the walls with the winning design. So let me know in the straw poll down below, and uh, yeah, they're pretty cool banner designs. Okay, well sadly that is all I have time for for this episode, but now we can take a quick look at what it looks like from the outside. I think it looks pretty snazzy. We've got some windows in there, I might add more detail around here a little bit, but then again I also want to uh, swear out what's going on with the detail over that side as well, like I mentioned in the earlier in the episode but I've dug out a tunnel there if I get any closer it will get too close to Mumbo's I don't want to actually intrude on there his area and I think who else is near I think Iskel's next to him uh, they're both quite close to each other underground so I'm not close but uh, and I didn't actually have any torches well which is why it's uh, super duper dark in here but I don't know what I'm gonna quite do I'm tempted very tempted you can see his name there, there he is or <laughs> I'm tempted to make a surveillance tunnel. Let me know what you think about that in the description. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a good idea. Or even in the comments even, not in the description, that would be weird. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to be moving the horses in here in the live stream this evening. That will be way too late for you guys, but I will be probably live, live uh, today, uh, this evening, 7pm BST as always, pretty much every day. But actually quickly, while I'm here, I remembered I got some flowers and I thought... You know what? We would add some flowers just randomly along these. So let's add that and a tulip. Maybe a tulip and the Azu Blue Air. There we go there. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe one, the same on this side, those two. Then maybe two tulips, perhaps. And then you and you. <laughs> and then you and you. Looks cool. Maybe I might use plant pots instead or whatever, but it just again, it gives it a little bit, little little touch of something small, small detail, which is what it needs. But anyway, leave a like down below, you guys, if you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think of the room so far. Let me know if there's anything, especially for the either either side of the room. I was tempted to make a little passageway that way as well, because that's towards XB, and obviously he's not on the server currently. So, you know, I don't think that would be too much of a problem. I wouldn't necessarily be intruding on anyone. So that's a possibility. Uh, yeah, and let me know down below what you think of the design, but that is sadly it for the episode guys Leave a like if you enjoyed the episode subscribe if you haven't already and that is it guys I'll catch you guys in the next episode See ya when Stanley approached the end of the video. He clicked the subscribe button